Look at this dude. Look at this dude. I'm actually a lieutenant. Let me lead alone and follow me. Bro's, bro had a bit too much on... <laughs> bro was enjoying this war a bit too much. And on this map, everybody likes to be partisan. Or at least a lot of people do. They like some kind of partisan -ness. And honestly, partisan is pretty cool because sometimes you get a really good combo. What is this? I don't know what disaster was that. That was a circus act. Two people can ride on a horse? What? But one's just crouching on the back. That's crazy. These Russians loading up. Just like they used to load up tanks in World War II with them. Um, like 50 people sitting on top of them. Doing the same with the horse in the Napoleonic Wars. It really shows. Oops. Sorry, partisan. My bad. You picked a class that oftentimes says melee. Okay, please, sir. I'm sorry. I, I only have a knife. I can't even block. There be the Russian. Wait, that's a Russian partisan? So they look almost the same as us? Oh, that guy has like a dragoon gun. That's not a real gun. Oh damn. Wait, he died. <laughs> How? That totally missed. How is he? Oh, no, please. Char Charge men, he says, as, hide as he hides behind a wall of stone. Really, bro. Um, you, you, you first. <laughs> you first. Bro is the first warmongering politician to ever be. Literally telling us to charge while he's hiding behind a stone wall. Ow, that hurt. I mean, it's not like they have another bullet. Here he comes. <laughs> the black Polish partisan. What will the black Polish partisan do today? Hide directly under the enemy and reload. Will the enemy see him? No, they will not. The Black Polish Partisan wins again. Bro's actually just gonna wait for- This surrendered man is doing nothing to help his teammate. He's just letting him get clowned like that, dude! What was that? That was crazy! Bro, whoever... The Black... Polish part... ...then is. That was amazing. Now that I'm dead, I'm just gonna follow the life of this, um... Is in here. What's he gonna do? Damn, that guy got, sh got shot in the face. That ain't cool. Okay, he's gonna engage in a melee duel. He may die. Yeah, he's definitely gonna die. Yeah, he's definitely gonna die. He did not hit the guy once. I thought he's gonna pull out his gun now. I know. So let's see what happens. Can he aim? He has like a little dragoon gun, doesn't he? Or a light. That's not a regular gun. Looks too small to be a regular, like light infantry weapon, right? Okay, this man's gonna fight again. Okay, yeah, he is, um. And this other guy's gonna pull out his gun too, okay, well, damn. After all these years in Blood and Iron, people are still talking about making soup stands. Okay, we still got our supposed officer here who nobody is following but me. What? Officer, what to do? Please, officer, help me! What's he gonna say? I have no idea! <laughs> Average Polish officer. Bro, sometimes officers in this game will describe, like, a 50-step plan that they have that they expect everybody to follow. And then they never actually see if it works because they just, no one follows it. But this dude's just like, yeah, I, I got no clue, man. At least he's honest. I wonder if I can hit these hooligans. Yes! Oh! The turret has been disabled. They still got more? Ooh. Captain Jack Sparrow, okay. Thanks. I'm gonna let this play out, okay. Captain Jack Sparrow was scary. What? Okay, that, that was a sad end. I'm, I'm not gonna teabag, I'm just gonna pay my respects. There we go. Because everybody always teabags for no reason. Like, they pulled off some Sigma maneuver to kill somebody, but they really didn't. They just, um, they just shot a man with no weapon. 